presentation about media and technology and football, starting with media. The different types of media and football are television, press, whether it be local or national, social media and, inter and the internet. The advantages of media and football are that it could cause attendances to rise because people may want to see these that stars that are all over the media, such as Ronaldo, Messi, players like that. It can keep the supporters informed about what happens in matches, like scores, injuries. It makes it easier for teams and players to attract sponsorship because they're all over the place, so they'll be seen wearing whatever they're sponsored for. It can encourage new people to participate as they see all these that famous footballers playing. I think maybe they want to do that. Helps um, develop personalities of that, of that professional players and make them into role models, that, whether that's good or bad. It gives the viewers a close up view of the action as that they can watch it on TV. It allows people the chance to interact with footballers over social networks, which they may not have a chance to do without it. The disadvantages of media and football are that attendance is made drop due to more people being able to watch the games on TV rather than having to actually go to the stadium to watch the game. More sports get exposure, whilst some get none. An example of that is football, as it's televised each week. However, that could take away from other events. Events can be used to pr promote the media, such as big events like the World Cup final. They can be like, used to promote a TV channel. Changes to timings of the games, so that having games at different times so they don't cross over and stuff to get more viewers. They have changes to the playing season, such as a possible change to the season during the 2022 World Cup, or so it could be played in winter rather than the summer. It can also cause changes to the rules, such as the offside rule, which was introduced many years ago. Television, it allows people to watch the games live or highlights. They can also watch things such as documentaries about the sports or information on coaching and training. It provides entertainment whilst watching the sport. And it can take people, it can take people away from actually going to the games live. Also, the director chooses what is shown on the TV at any given time. This means that at times they can't be used to analyse because they might not be showing the right thing. Social media growing that trend amongst football players uh, share their views and interact with fans. However, uh, it can be both good and bad because it increases the exposure of the sport but can lead to confrontations between people. A good example of that is sites such as Twitter and Facebook. They have that question and answer sessions with the this players. This is a staff announcement. Can Jacob come to reception for a telephone call? Thank you. An example of that is Arsenal, who on Thursdays have a question and answer session with a different player each week using the hashtag AskArsenal. A negative use of social media you get it on Twitter was a verbal war between Joey Barton and Vietnam Hamann. This shines a negative light on the sport. This is not the only like, time this has happened. It also brings the attention to people like Suarez and incidents like that where he's a bit Chiellini. Local and national press. It's a big part of football because it helps that like, news about scores, 